Yeah. What's up? It is Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Jasmine Brand. I'm Laura Mora. That's right. And it is a special episode for us to actually, before our guests arise, kind of talk about what we have going on. You know, I have recently launched my own show, Way Up With Angela Yee. Nationally syndicated, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. actually, tonight is my launch party for the show. And to be honest, like it was a journey to get there. Um, I know, like, I knew I was getting a show, but then the date kept getting pushed back. And it was a big deal because it is nationally syndicated. So mm-hmm. it's a lot of moving parts, a lot of different markets, and behind the scenes activity. So a lot of hands in the pot. Yes. And so it was a long time before I found out about it, and then I was able to announce it. But then even after I announced it, for me to even get started, it was a <laughs> setback and a setback and a setback. Yeah, it just took forever. But now it's been um, a little bit over a month. You know, Jasmine Brand has been showing up faithfully to help out. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate that. So I just wanted us to all take a moment to celebrate what we have going on because I feel like we need to do those things. Every and once in a while, we need to, you know. Yeah, we need to be like, shit, this is what I'm doing. This is what right. you're doing. Okay, so Gigi, let's talk about you. So yes, I have a docu-series that I am a part of. It's produced by Jermaine Dupree, mm-hmm. and it's about Magic City. Oh, shoot. Um, the Magic City docuseries. Not sure of, a, of the network or if, if I could say that just yet, but I will spill the tea that I can spill. And that's that it's a three-part docuseries. Um, it's being filmed, of course, in Atlanta. And it's to not only just tell the story of Magic City, but to tell how the culture is integrated between the city of Atlanta and the music scene and how it all just meshed into this one melting pot of greatness, of magicalness, right? <laughs> Y'all know, I'm never home but always repping. I love that place. Right. Uh, magic City changed my life. So to get the phone call to do an interview for the docuseries, that was a no-brainer. However, after speaking to production um, on our initial Zoom call, they actually asked me to narrate. Mm-hmm. Alongside Jimmy only Dupree makes sense. and Big Match. So, this is like a huge deal. Right, and yeah. I've already done my interview. It was amazing. Like, I, the whole team and everybody, they made me feel so special. And, you know, they were so welcoming and so just there. And, and it was a really good time, good vibes. And um, so, that's part one. Mm-hmm. Part two is once they are done all of their interviews, and they're interviewing like everybody nice. big names, 80s strippers, oh, like, nice. <laughs> strippers from back in the day. You know, Magic City has been 40 years almost in the it's same probably building, like the most same famous owner. strip club. Strip club right? Yes, it's I like think the Mecca it is of strip. Probably, Like, what other strip club is more famous than Magic City? No, it's like the Disneyland of strip. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so once they finish interviewing and, you know, they cut the storyline, and um, I go back and I actually sit and do. Um, my second filming, which would be the narration. And I'm so excited about that. I think I'm way more excited about narrating than I am about telling my story because that's a no-brainer. Like yeah. You can't tell right. a the story la- of Magic City without adding my six-year span. It's a different lane, done. though, that could lead to a lot more things, and too. And that's for you. what also makes me so excited about that yeah. situation because it's almost like I can put on my resume that I do voiceovers now. Like, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe this might lead to me getting some type of hosting gig or, you know, who knows what doors this will open up. So I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. Very extremely grateful. I'm happy and you got to do your press run too yes. for that. And I'm also proud. Yeah, we're yeah, proud of I'm you. Proud. Be. I'm proud because y'all know we get beat up, you know, strippers get, and I will always refer to myself as an entertainer, you know, cause that's what I did. That's mm-hmm. who Gigi Maguire was. Like Kafi is the woman. Gigi Maguire was the stripper. So no matter how far I move uh, from that in life and move on, that will always be something that will be in the core of who I am. So strippers get put down for making money naked. They think that every stripper is a prostitute or a drug addicted or has a pimp or don't take care of their kids or whatever the case may be. And it's just like, even with the reality show I did Beyond the Pole, it's always about changing the narrative. It's Mm -hmm. about showing what's really what and really letting you see that these are movies that's portraying us like this. This is like stories that are being made up that's portraying like this. And yes, there are some, you know, 
that just are as that there way, are, there's receptionists that are like that. Exactly. Hello, listen, I tell people <laughs> all the time. A little off subject, but I tell people all the time. My regular friends were bigger hoes than my stripper friends. <laughs> period. And you know that's part of why I started lip service in the beginning to show that when I was at Sirius. To show that women, no matter what it is that you do for a living, because it didn't start off with celebrities. It started off with like regular women with jobs, just kind of telling sex stories mm-hmm. and things that they did. They just to trace. show that like, it don't matter what your but, job is. Mm-hmm. Women do sexual things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're all having sex for the most part. Yeah, right. pretty yeah. much. <laughs> pretty much. And you know, so I, I, that was part of what I wanted to do. And then also like highlight some of these women who were in the videos that you got to see them, but never got to hear them talk mm-hmm. and, and hear their personalities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, no date yet. It'll be probably, I don't know, to the beginning of the next year, the end of this year. But um, again, I'm very proud and excited and I'm just happy that. I have these experiences to be able to speak on and to relive and, you know, just to... Well, congratulations. Yes, I'm so thank excited. You. I cannot wait. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we're going to celebrate when the time comes and, you know, <laughs> premiere and all of that. We'll do like the press run and we'll we come to Atlanta, and, baby. And, you Let's know, go. we'll do a Magic City Monday. And, That's you know, be we'll be huge. on right up on Way Up with Angela Yee mm-hmm. doing that. Yes, Gigi yes, co-host. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, now, Miss, I'm not just a brand. I'm a Jasmine brand. Let's Period. talk about you and what you have going on. <laughs> so that was a bar. The, right. <laughs> it was. Um, so I'm spending most of my time here in New York. I've been guest co-hosting on your show, Way Up with Angela Yee. Mm-hmm. It's been an exciting time, super busy. Um, the Jasmine brand is still around and thriving and growing. Mm-hmm. Um, we're on a hiatus right now for Brutally Honest with Jasmine brand. It comes back in the fall. Fox Soul. Yes, on Fox Soul. Um, they're still running those sh- those episodes. So All I've right. just been staying busy. Who is your favorite person that you interviewed on Brutally Honest? Besides my, me. Besides <laughs> you. My favorite. I don't know if I had a favorite. <laughs> you know who was very chatty and entertaining? Dapper Dan. Okay. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah interesting. interesting. Yeah, really, he's good. got some great stories. I yeah, he, he has great yeah. stories, and he talked about all these scams he used to run. <laughs> oh shit, credit we card scams. Yes. You know, I love a st- scam we love story, a scam, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how he got locked up, and you know, just all kind of. And now look. Right? Yeah, he's doing well. Good story. See, that probably was my my favorite one. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's great. And we love having you on Way Up at Angela Yee. Thank People you. People love hearing yes, your voice. I'll be tuned in, y'all. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We, have we have a good time. And she gets time. brutally, hairily honest. Yeah, I talk about, <laughs> you know, I sell a spell. I like embarrass myself. <laughs> not really. Not really. How you? Yeah, really. That's embarrassing, <laughs> but it's like, whatever. All right. Now, <laughs> Laura, Miss Laura Moore, let's celebrate you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Um, so I just recently kind of relocated and spend most of my time now in New York. Everybody's in New York. Everybody's in New so York. Gigi, well, Gigi's I'll, here every now and then. Uh, right. I'll pop, I'll pop out. <laughs> she pop in and pop out. Um, so I officially took the position as the general manager for Coffee Uplifts People. Okay. How and that yes, is ma'am. super exciting for me because right before COVID, I said, I'm done with the corporate world. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> but it's just a pleasure to be able to start a foundation and start from the beginning for a brand that is amazing and that is for the cute community and it's for the people and just the name coffee uplifts people that's me i'm a i'm a service person my love language is service and a people's person and this brand actually embodies everything about my personality so i love it i'm meeting so many good people um Mm -hmm. Of course, been on and off here interning and learning from the best. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jasmine Brand, Angela Yee, Gigi on lip service. So this is going great. You're also relaunching your boutique online. And I am relaunching my online boutique, God willing, by May 1st, April 1st, but May 1st, dependent. <laughs> I will be out. And I'm super excited about that because I started that during COVID. You know, everybody was like, you know what? What I'm going to do, let me start something. Figure and that's something that I started. I literally went on Google. How do you start an online store? You can find anything on Google, by yeah, the way. Everything on Google. Step by step. Um, I kind of invested all my savings, went through depression, went through all that stuff. But it was pretty much I paid for a four-year course within a year to learn the right way to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm super excited to relaunch it. Um, The mission is to just highlight up and coming minority and black up and coming artists i don't want to go with vendors from china Mm -hmm, or any other place so if you are a designer or a up and coming fat anything and you want to go ahead and get your things out it's just pretty much a way to promote those people you know so i'm excited about that 
And yeah, I'm back in New York and I'm ready to do it right this time. I miss my babies, but it's a sacrifice we got to make. Okay. See, I just wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to kind of talk about what they're doing. Now I want to see where everybody is as far as relationships in their <laughs> life. Because I'm, I know, you know, slip service. What do y'all want me to do? Right. Because yeah. I'm wondering, do you feel like work is... Uh, you're more focused when you're in a relationship and you have something going on or when you're single? Mm. <laughs> Don't all jump I feel in. Like, <laughs> I, f- I feel like it doesn't really change much for me. I don't I don't think that I let uh, relationships... There was a time when I did. Mm-hmm. There was a time when I wasn't going to work because I was always with my man, traveling the world, spinning the globe backwards. So, you know, that was that time. But at this point in my life, I feel like right now I'm single, but even when I was in my most recent relationship, I still, I had the same things going on. I had the same drive. I was, you know, moving the same way. So I don't think that that relationship stopped me from being focused on getting to the coin. What did you learn from that period of your life where you were traveling the world and kind of like, would you do it like that again, or do you feel like you would do things differently? I would definitely do things differently. Um, I wouldn't make so many just rational decisions. I would try to think things out and have a, a broader plan, a clearer plan. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I just made this decision, that decision, that decision, and I without really thinking them through. Um, it was a learning experience, though, and one thing I took from that is that I will never, ever in my life give a man full authority over my life and finances because mm. you know at, at that time in my life it was just like oh he saved me from being a stripper and i don't gotta work and i could do whatever i want and we always on a plan and i don't got no bills but when the shit got snatched i'm spending like, my head trying my to savings? figure it out yeah. Yeah. exactly and at this point that was my two twice removed relationship and at this point it's been over what five years and I am at a point where I'm able to provide the same lifestyle for myself that he was providing for me. I'm able to live the same way. And, feels good, and, don't yes. And it feels even better because I'm doing it for myself and on my own and not having to depend, to depend on a man for it. But I'm still taking gifts and I'm still taking trips. <laughs> and and that cash you know what I'm saying? That part. I'm single. I'm single <laughs> and, you know, I'm dating and, um, and I'm hustling and I'm here. Okay. With my girls. Now, Jasmine, let's talk about you and your status right now. You do have a baby. I do have a baby. Little baby rain. Mm-hmm. So what's going on with you? Are you single? Are you? Yeah, I'm single. Okay. All right. Have you been dating or no? Nope. I always tell guys it's harder for women when you have a, um, from like my friends who I know when they have kids, men can get out there and do whatever, but it's harder for women. I feel yeah. like because being like a caretaker and also so many changes that you go through, like when Cash Doll was here and she was talking mm-hmm. about everything her body went through and she just didn't feel the same after having a baby mm-hmm. and all of that. Sometimes it's a lot harder for women to feel like, and and you've been working so much too. Yeah, I think it's more, well, yes, because I have a child and then... It, when I'm not, you know, being a mom, I'm working. Mm-hmm. And so when I'm not working, I'm being a mom. So, and I'm kind of okay with it. Like, I'm cool right now. I'm cool. So, okay. so what do you do to um, get off? No, in the time of need. You got a, you got a treasure box, girl. No, I, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. She played with the hair on her legs. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm always going to be okay. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. What about you, Miss Laura Mora, back in New York? Um, you like n- the guys better in New York or Miami? New York. <laughs> yeah. New York. Said, it's uh, the bigger. Yeah. I'm so sick of New York, man. Okay. So, yeah, I kind of like it better in New York because you have, like, it's more, it's so many different type of you know how they're like, oh, change your type. Maybe the type you're dating. Mm-hmm. Miami, it's the same people, and is people. Co- yeah, no, Miami is you not say a New York dating is a bigger city. pool. New okay. New York is a way bigger pool. Um, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning that there's different meanings to dating and things like that. But I'm not specifically dating. I'm single. I'm hella single. Mm-hmm. Um, am I mingling? I'm really busy right now and just focused on me myself and getting myself to a point where I'm happy by myself. We saw you got some flowers on Valentine's Day. I definitely did get some flowers on Valentine's Day. <laughs> um I've been getting amazing gifts for yes, my birthday. Me too. I got a really good gift. Like High five. Yeah. Like <laughs> I've been getting good and that's what I'm saying. Like New York, like yeah, New York's been it for me. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying New What's York. What's a really good gift? So I just the last gift oh, 
But this last <laughs> gift I got, <laughs> I gotta <laughs> say it. <laughs> it's like she a spa. Like it's, not a microphone right. in front of her. it's like a spa. Um, I haven't used it. First of all, the gift you get in an email, you gotta put on headphones to like get the gift, and it's like a meditation, Uh-oh. and it's like a spa retreat air. Oh, okay. Air. Yeah. Ancient baths. Yes. Oh, so wow. it's going to be like a two and a half hour, like whole mm-hmm. process. That so was actually just... uh, featured on Billions. Okay. Ooh, on boy, you got, okay. You got your little five points back or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so that was pretty cool. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it because I am so busy, but I love that because mm-hmm. I'm the type of person that when I meet a person, um, I'm all in. That's you know, a good gift. my past relationships has been all in. Like my relationships have been my baby daddies. And it's been relationships where I've cut off my friends, I cut off Ooh. my life. Like it was all about this person and never realized that they were just insecure and narcissists and things like that. So um being able to just love myself and learn myself and actually appreciate my friends and my friendships and the things that I'm learning about being a woman, like I'm in the best place. So I don't know. I may be single forever and just have oh my God, a Rolodex it. of men that <laughs> if today forever, I want to do this, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm single and I'm happy and I'm just right now focused on myself and I'm dating me, myself and I. Period. Okay. And if, you know, I want, I'll accept gifts and I'm definitely, I'll accept gifts. Y'all gotta stop. I definitely will Girl. accept Girls gifts. Girls like gifts. That's my hashtag. <laughs> All right. Well, Jose Osama just walked in. Hey. Hello. Oh, I got to move. Yes, What's sir. up? You caught the tail end of that. <laughs> uh, what's going on? All right, well, Lil Zay Osama just walked in. We were over here just kind of talking about before you got here, all of the things that we're happy of and like celebrating. So why don't we have you join in too? And just like some things that you want to celebrate. For sure. Um, as far as like what anything, like, like anything what's going, going on in your on, life, in your any life. recent accomplishments, mm-hmm. any goals we don't, meet, we don't like, take the time to think about. Like, damn, I'm so hyped that this happened for me. Mm-hmm. I'm really so hyped that all this happened for me. As far yes. as you know, what I'm saying, getting signed, mm-hmm. coming up, living out my dream. You feel me? Right. Congratulations. I'm happy all this came out for me. Okay. Um, I'm working on my first album right now. Mm-hmm. So coming out this month, right? March. Supposed to be yeah, mm-hmm. at the end of the month. Okay. For the trenches. For the trenches. For sure. <laughs> now that's good because a lot of times artists will tell you like, I like being independent because you had a good following already without mm-hmm. being signed. Mm-hmm. So what made you say, okay, I'm going to take that leap? Um, I don't even know. At that time, it was just like getting signed was their thing to me. So mm-hmm. I was just like, going to go on here. Plus they was offering a lot of money too. Okay. Me? So I'm like, for the goal. You said that'll do yeah, it. Right. <laughs> Check was right. Might as well. <laughs> that will do it. <laughs> Now, listen, I was trying to see if there was stuff that you had done. You know, this is lip service. It's a show about sex mm-hmm. and relationships. Uh-oh, you blushing? <laughs> oh, shit. He's ready. It's like, here it go. <laughs> Lock and load it. But you, ain't got no, but you ain't got no emotions or nothing. Is that a real thing? Because I know guys try to act like they don't have emotions. and I got emotions. I'm okay. in a relationship he right now. He's a Gemini. Oh, he's a, see, he's in a relationship yeah. okay. right now. You're a Gemini, right? I'm a Gemini. Me too. Sure. And, I've, and I dated a Gemini for like 13 years. Listen, you have emotions. For he sure. has a, he has, he's in a relationship. So yeah, he's in a relationship. Yes. He has so you be saying I love you when they that? come to oh, yeah, for his sure. woman? Not to everybody. Not to her. Just the one woman, yeah. For okay. Sure. What made you decide she was the one? That was my childhood crush. You mm-hmm. feel me? When I was growing up, that's who I used to see it. Used to like her. I used to want to fuck with her, but I never like attempted to try to talk to her. You feel me? Until I became who I was. Then I seen her again. I'm like, yeah, I need her. Oh, you gotta watch the five heartbeats one day. <laughs> <laughs> How long have y'all been together? Five years. Oh wow. Oh, that's five good. Years. That's, good time. that's mm-hmm. amazing. So that's interesting that you waited until you got to a certain position. We were talking about that on a previous episode. It wasn't episode. on purpose though. But just how just, you felt. Yeah. It wasn't on purpose. It was just like in the moment I'm like, damn, that's her from back then. I the used time to was her. right. Let me get her. You feel me? That's how it went. It wasn't on purpose. Nice. Did she um and then when y'all finally hooked up, was she like, Yeah, I noticed you too? Yeah, she the one that reached out to me first. Oh damn. Mm-hmm. See, there you go. Yeah. She reached out to me. So first. you might not shoot even your shot. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think you would have reached out to her at all? Or you I'd have probably had to see her in person or something. Mm. You mm-hmm. feel me? She wasn't like no big person to where I see her on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I probably had to see her in person and then I would have took my shot. So would you say you're shy? 
when Me? it comes to women. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to get some Ain't ideas no man. here. Ain't no Gemini man shy. Please. <laughs> we love the women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not that you don't love them, but it feel like you wasn't too, you know. Nah, back then, I don't know. I was just young and probably shy around that time. But like, I'm grown now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let them know. How many? Um, so you have children, right? Yeah. How many? Uh, three. Okay. Three kids. Yeah. And so um, how old were you when you had your first child? Damn, how old was I? Uh, I had a possible too. <laughs> that was supposed to be mine. Okay. Yeah. And it wasn't? I three still don't know. You, you didn't do so an um, so test? So you got three, three, three and a possible. She didn't want to do the test. Okay. Oh, that's because she know. Yeah, she know what's up. That so was the whole left, plan A, so plan B, plan C. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was plan C. Mm-hmm. I just left it alone. So that's a real song. Huh? That song. <laughs> what I was talking about in yeah. the song, X Bitch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a real oh, song. Oh, I was scared of that song. It's, wow. a, it's, it's an aggressive title. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Right. Let's talk about what cute. inspired that song. <laughs> What inspired the song? It wasn't just specifically about one girl. That's okay. the thing. It was about two girls. Oh. You feel me? But certain lines and that was about her, certain lines and that was about her, but it was all a real song. You feel okay. Me? But um, it was just about trying to get over on me. She was trying to get over on me the whole way through. Okay. Both of them. You feel me? So that's why I made the song. Who you think is grimy <laughs> or men or women when it comes to relationships? <laughs> I don't even really know, for real. Men. Why you say that, though? Because y'all be <laughs> litless. Y'all be disrespectful with it. Like, if we do some shit, we do y'all some shit, but we still... We yeah, sneaky, it's but... Low. We keep it we low. We do be sneaky, but we keep it low and we stay respectful. Y'all just be blatantly disrespectful See, and don't, I don't give know what, look, That's what I make been, it grimy. I have seen all type of women. All, all women ain't sneaky and respectful with it. Mm-hmm. Bitches do shit for the get back. They okay. trying to get back at you and hurt your heart. And play mad. I mean, exactly. that's retaliation. Yeah, but if you, if you want to get, re- don't just want to get retaliation. But don't do listen, it. That makes no, us want to no, get listen, retaliation. If I do something to you, I want you to leave me the fuck alone. Don't play tit for tat with me. <laughs> just leave me alone. That's how it's supposed to go. It ain't now, if you play like tit for tat with me, then we're going to get back together. And then I'm going to fuck up again. You're going to be wondering why. Cause that last shit you did, yeah, and it's gonna be a never in the cycle, and it's gonna be. It's I, gonna I keep lived like on that going. for eleven years. I know all about it. It's a toxic <laughs> yeah. cycle. With a Gemini, you and Gemini, you know, we both Gemini. you know how we get. <laughs> Me and my ex are both Gemini's, and that's what we did to each other for eleven years. Tip for that, it was exhausting. Tip for fucking tip. Like I, I was tired. I wasn't in it. I was exhausted. Tip for tip. She was around. Tip for tip. Look, it looked fun. He said it's, it looked fun. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, let's have some real moments right here. So what do you think is the worst thing you've ever done to a woman that you like, damn, I can't even believe I did that? Uh, fucked up friend. Huh. Best friend? Kind of a best friend. It was, she was close uh, enough. Close and did you enough. do that on purpose to make her mad or you just did it because you could? I ain't know, but the girl knew. She could have told me. Right. Mm. I don't know if I'd have stopped or not. but You wouldn't. <laughs> so she, that wasn't her yeah. best friend if you, you didn't know. Yeah, how you ain't know? They had their own shit going on. You know how people right. be like, that's my best friend from out of out but we don't hang with each other every day. Mm-hmm. But they still it was that type talking, of situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, one of them unbreakable yeah. bonds until your dick broke in the middle. Damn. <laughs> that was, that's what Damn. solidified the friendship status. And so she found out? Yeah, she found out. How? Her friend. Oh, her she friend told her? She set you up. Damn. Told wow. you that nigga wasn't shit. He still, he still bothered <laughs> so, by it too. Man, you can see it all in she, his face. No, she tried to act like she ain't know about me and her. Okay. But this when I was first coming up and you feel me? So she probably ain't know. I don't know. Mm. You know I. You know how Instagram is. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like that back then. You feel okay, me? Okay, so maybe she didn't really know. So she probably didn't know. Mm-hmm. But then when that time came, it was like, damn, you fuck my nigga. It's over with for you. Oh, damn. Who'd you like better? My girl. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I thought <laughs> that he was going to nice say the friend. You. I liked her. I just fucked his friend. He was better. <laughs> I didn't that's know. what I want to know. That's what he's saying. Was better. What his girl, he's saying, right? Now, who you not, like better and who pussy definitely, better? Definitely not that hoe. Huh? Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Do you feel like... Um, Sheesh. Let me ask you this. Do you feel like you have to perform well every time because you know women going to talk about you? Like you can't... It ain't even... I ain't even thinking like that when I'm performing. I'm mm-hmm. just performing. Mm-hmm. And that's how I go. Do you do everything? Like, are you going to, before sex, are you going to eat pussy? And then... I'm not just eating any bitch pussy. That shit over with. <laughs> so not anybody, over with, but... Not, listen, but you know how women got a body count? Men got a body count of eating pussy. 
I remember it was times that I ain't. I, I was seventeen, still ain't ate pussy. Cause I was like, that's nah, not hell, nah. You said that like nah, you was. I'm just saying, I was seventeen. <laughs> I mean, still like, only twenty five right now. Niggas, so. like, like, niggas doing this shit at fifteen or fourteen nowadays. Yeah. You right, I know, but I'm just you saying, seventeen me? ain't crazy. So seventeen is when you did it. For the first time. No, he wasn't doing it at 17. I know, but I, I'm saying he was 17, but then I it must have been... I think it was been... probably like going into 18 years old. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I came home, I, I was locked up. Right. You feel me? And I came home. And then that's the first time I ate pussy. Did she you ask knew... you to do it or you just did it because you wanted I just to? did it. You knew what you was doing? <clears throat> Come on, man. No. I'm a goat. Oh, God. Oh, shit. How I you don't believe you? Guys huh? all think they know what they're doing. They do. Right. And don't. <laughs> like, if you already knew how to do it. there's grown men that still don't know how to do it right. They think they know. It's you our got, fault. You just gotta know nothing. the pussy. That's it. You gotta know <laughs> the pussy. Answer, good okay. answer. Good answer. Good answer. That's a great answer. That's a and great answer. You gotta know the pussy. Not only do you have to know the pussy, you gotta know the woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because exactly. every pussy has to be That too. Yeah. Was it somebody you was talking to while you was locked up? No, nah, when I was locked up, I got rid of the old bitch when I was locked up because <laughs> she broke bad on me. You mm-hmm. feel me? So when I came home, I got in a relationship with my new girl, you feel me? And that's what happened to Okay. Her. Okay. Oh, okay. She missed out. She was like, damn, yeah. I did it. <laughs> the old bitch, she ain't, she, the old bitch ain't get it. She ain't <laughs> get it. that. Uh, that's funny. So did you talk to anybody while you was locked up or you just cleared off the whole roster? and then? I got locked up when I was 15 years old mm-hmm. and I got sent to juvenile life. At that time, I had a like a main girl, mm-hmm. feel me? but it was like some kitty shit. That was like my yeah. childhood shit. Mm-hmm. You feel that's me? young, very. Yeah. So she ain't stand strong and do what she supposed to do. She went she ghost. She was fifteen, and, though, right? <laughs> yeah, but still, don't you know what you got into, right? Mm. I don't know. I mean, fifteen. I don't you know, know what you got. You, you know what you got into. <laughs> I don't know. Not you know what you got into. Not at fifteen. When you say she, but then when I come home, you she wanna, want you back. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, every, you got it right already. that she right. fucked up. But I don't know if 15, I don't think she was emotionally mature enough at fifteen. To, to, to when that. she fucked up, you mean Man. like what she was dating other people? Why you was? No, I ain't give a fuck about you. She ain't ride. She ain't ride the bitch. You supposed to kept them letters coming in, got money coming in. She ain't ride the bitch. You supposed to deal with. She like I'm intense. You supposed to do what supposed to be done. Got it. All right, but you did come home and hit it again, though, right? I did come I home know and you hit did. it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know you called it right away. And then That's you... just sad. <laughs> I regret it to this day. Uh, oh you do? He's still bitter about why. it. I think I know why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Next question. <laughs> and you're like, like, let's move on from all right. that. All right. <laughs> but all right, so... um. See, that kind of reminds me of this song, Soul Cry. You know, it's interesting because people say that like with your music, because some of it is very like sad, Mm -hmm. you know? And so I'm just wondering for you growing up in Chicago and everything that you've been through, like you said, you was locked up at 15. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like um, when you make your music, that is really reflected in your music? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. The long way. I talk about everything that I've been through. Feel what I'm saying? You think it's like therapeutic for you? For sure. It's like, and the whole world could relate to it. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people been through what I've been through, mm-hmm. or probably even worse. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, I put that shit in my music every step of the way. I don't stop. Right. Everything about my music is my whole life story. I know, and it's a crazy life story already. Oh man. Yeah, crazy. Do you Auntie write or do you just go in and just <laughs> and? I sound crazy, but I go in right off the top. Mm-hmm. Like this shit all built up inside my brain already, so I just go in and just spit it out. Do you ever get emotional while you're like? Yeah, for sure. About some of my homies that passed away. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Some of the bitches that broke bad on me when I was booked doing my junk, my little time. You feel me? Right. A lot of shit. Some of the guys that went left on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's that's for like sure. normal. That's natural for you I mean, to have those emotions towards that yeah. type, those specific situations. Like, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. And to to be a, a creative and artist. And to um, release these emotions through your music, I'm sure it's very therapeutic for you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But how do you, I, th- I guess, after all of that, how do you trust anybody? I don't. You feel me? Is there anyone um, you trust? Family? My mama. Your you woman? Me? My mama, my girl, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes she get iffy, man. <laughs> it depends on the situation. I might not trust mm-hmm. It just all depends. Are you a person that feels that trust should be earned or given? Trust should be earned for sure. Mm. What the fuck I'm trusting you for? <laughs> it gotta be earned. Do you sure. think you're trustworthy though? 
Like for your girl, you think that she should trust you? Yeah, she should trust me. <laughs> Did you earn it? <laughs> of course. How? I done been faithful for a How long time. How do you time. earn a person's trust? Not fucking up. Not fucking up, staying <laughs> solid, being 100. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Not lying, not sugarcoating shit. Being bold about everything, you feel me? Bringing that shit to the table. Mm-hmm. Communication is key. So you said you've been faithful. And happiness. Uh, huh? You said you've been faithful for a long time? Yeah, I was faithful for a long time to my girl, you feel me? Of course I had little bumps in the road where I fucked up. Wait, wait, wait. Which one is it? What? <laughs> <laughs> so you was faithful for a long time, but and then fucked up a little bit, and then you fucked up a little bit. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? I got my shit back together. You got feel it. me? Are you the type of person who can take accountability? Because some guys fuck up and they don't. As soon, soon as I fuck up, I'm gonna say, "Hey, I'm wrong. You got it." Mm-hmm. But, but is that when you next? get caught? Huh? You get caught and then you take accountability. I get caught, then I take accountability. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So if she if she was to get <laughs> caught, I'm not and just take... telling you shit. So you yeah. see, I find out. So you said earnest trust, meaning like, you know, you just straight you up a hundred. So if she come to you and tell you, babe, so I fucked up. Like, you know, there was this nigga and I fucked up. You taking I can her take back? That. So you could dish it, but you can't take it. Damn, call it what you want. I don't know if I could take that. Mm-hmm. I ain't been through that yet. Okay. Well, you come straight forward and be like, babe, I woo woo. Okay, what if you just happen Your to find out? Get left right there. So if you if you just happen to find out? It's over with. What if that's you messed fair. up and then she messed up? I know it ain't up. fair, but that's life shit. What if you messed up, but then she, like, what if y'all was on a break? Let's just say, yo. I ain't finna hit, mm-mm. You ain't hitting me with that. <laughs> ain't no Why break. Is break. Ain't no break. <laughs> ain't no, listen. If we have a break, and in between you go in, the break is over with. We over with. Ain't what no if you break. What if you, so side? what's the yeah. point of the break then? There ain't no breaks. That's what I'm saying. Okay. If we're going to do this shit, we're going to fix it the right, right way. We right gonna in there. Ain't no break. Get shit together. There ain't no breaks. Mm-hmm. That means we broke up. Right. And that means... Yeah, it's like over. that's what we it is. Go, that was that little break up to see like... Yeah, but you you're continue. not going to have a uh, a break and then go do what the fuck you want to do and then come back to me talking about, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm healed now. Nah, I'm healed. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I'm cool now. Hell no, nah, that shit <laughs> Okay. Dead. I'm All right. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think guys I say that journey. until it happens. You right. had a break before? Yeah. What you do on your break? What the fuck I wanted? Because it's a break. Tell me what you do on your break. I did. Uh, I did whatever I wanted to do because I was single. Yeah, during the break, you're single. You're single. Shit, you did what you, you did you while did you was in a relationship. On your, on your break too. <laughs> what you do on your break? <laughs> I um, had a baby. <laughs> you know what? Normally <laughs> when I took my break, break, I was hurt during that break, so I didn't even so get a chance to like. You yeah, ready. I didn't get a chance. But now, I'm spinning a block. And to come back, I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> to in reverse yeah. like Diddy in hey. the hip size video. When I was younger, <laughs> probably your age, I was heartbroken. So my break was more me crying and, oh my God, but I miss him. Okay, let's get back together. But now, oh, you want a break? Mm-hmm. No problem. Because y'all go. doing what you want to do during a break, right? Absolutely. Y'all do. doing what y'all want to do when it ain't a break. First Man, of all, you did what you wanted to do while you was crazy. in a relationship. God just said that. And they you didn't. Crazy. But we don't want to fuck up his head. We don't can't. Yeah, we don't. That. We don't. Yeah. But you know. Nah, give it to me. Nah, she give it to me. <laughs> she I need it. I need it right there. <laughs> so I can know. I can know. You know what I was telling somebody the other day for women, and I think men probably do this too. We know when we don't want to be with you anymore. Mm-hmm. We are break, we're broken up before you know we yes. broken up. Yeah, mm-hmm. we done checked out how, before. How? Yeah. Like, like in our mind, like yeah. it's already off it. Yeah, we are. You just so why are you point. still around? Just because, comfortability? Yeah, and also sometimes it's hard to just let it go like that. Yes. We're just like easing out of it. We're trying to set up the next situation. Before, not even that. Sometimes, oh, so you're trying to get closure first. Well, not even that. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> just, y'all might be involved in like a business situation or something might be happening to where as though you can't just kids. pick up and leave. So the variables matter. Or if you live together yeah. or y'all got kids that like you kids, can't just pick up and yeah. go you got to figure it out but while you're figuring it out in your mind you like fuck that nigga peace like i'm already off that right you already planned. or just also hoping that maybe like i was in a relationship five years but the last two years i can't even sleep with him but i was hoping that because we had a kid together it that maybe together. it could come back maybe in this, mm-hmm. but emotionally i was off of it so there was no sex so to me because there was no mm-hmm. sex we're not together, but I was still like, it was still like a hope of a little Let's glimmer see, of hope. Because of this, he'll get back and then it just. Girl, yeah. you stopped having sex with him for two years. He was having sex with somebody else. And, he that, was and that was too. Mm-hmm. Y'all were sure. roommates at that point. Yeah. Well, yeah. we wasn't even living together. Y'all was coping. And I'm quite exactly. sure he knew in his head he was old with. Yeah. Oh, no, because when I left, he went two fucking years, nuts. No sex? He went nuts. Oh, he yeah. was having sex. Let's be clear. Yeah, he was just, having sex. Yeah. I wasn't. They weren't. Yeah. Oh, okay. You think that. um. 
for men and women is different, right? Some people feel like men can have sex with women and not really care at all, but women can't do that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's true. Facts. No, it's not. Yeah, like you're gonna be considered a hoe. Oh, that's well. just point blank. Period. I must have had a whole phase then because I've definitely had sex with somebody that was just sex. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. He enjoyed he it. He looks we, so we moved appalled the fuck right on. now. This is so <laughs> funny. <to me. laughs> That's no emotion. Froze. It was good. It was great. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. I can't it. be with you. It was recreation. We had we. I can't be with a girl like right. this. Man, that's, that's crazy. I mean, I think that physically, like, if but it's, it's okay for you to do it. I'm a nigga. Oh my so god. So what? Jesus Christ. So what? Like, so he's what? young. Can't take it. You he are. Is, yeah. Are you? You in your twenties? I'm 25. My daughter yeah. older than you. Huh? My daughter is older than you. I'm. I, I could have been. I could have pushed you out this pussy. Like, I want them to be your mama. <laughs> He you look, you like, look young, though. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. I young. drink a lot of water. Yeah. And she's yeah, had sex sure. with people and not cared about them. It makes you look <laughs> Absolutely. young. Absolutely. <laughs> I might yeah. have let him come on my face, too. We still ain't care about him. <laughs> Please don't blow his mind. No, Please. no, no. Stop fucking with him. Because he's getting really... <laughs> he's <laughs> horrified. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Uh, Dude, I don't want to make you uncomfortable. But this is lip service. You, you know where you get, at, right? I don't get uncomfortable. Okay, good. good. You heard what I said I'm from? What's the album finna come out? <laughs> this shit for the trenches. For the trenches. For the trenches. <laughs> I'll, I'll drink some water to that. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I mean, I think it's hard. Um, you know, I get it. Like, you feel how you feel. But I will say, it's different now. Like, women are able to do, I feel like, the same things that men do a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Truthfully, like, what y'all do, women. And sometimes y'all But do- they still, they, they, they ain't going to never get wifed up. I yeah, mean, you're going to be a hoe, you're going to be a hoe you, all your Listen, life until you're 50. think about how many people we know, how many women that publicly have done whatever they've done and they get white, mm-hmm. you know, they get white. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of goofy I ass niggas out there. I turned down the marriage proposal. Right. It's not, I don't think that it matters. I think I we all have turned down. down. I, I told him no. I ain't going to lie, I ain't wife and no bitch that got multiple bodies. It's over with. How many, what, what how do you mean multiple? What do you mean? Hold on, what do you mean by multiple? What do you mean by multiple? The streets talk. What do you mean by multiple? What is multiple? How many, multiple? Is, how many is multiple, right? Oh, no. So he's saying, you the, you mean bodies as in people that you know? No, not even that I know. The streets talk, like I said, you got a lot of bodies. Yo, ass out of there. I wish I would. What is a lot of so bodies? So the streets in the- What's the number? What's a lot of bodies? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Four. ten, eleven. Oh, my God. So three Four. is okay? I can't. I want to no talk to you. It, it all depends, Wait, no more than ten? I huh? wanna, I wanna, no, hold on, I want to know the ahead. number. I'm sorry. If it's 10, you definitely over with. Seven? <laughs> I it's mean, but he's 25. Five? How many bodies you what got? What the fuck that means? I'm 25. How many bodies you got? Over 200. Oh that, so the woman, God. the woman can have more than five. He's a hoe. Yeah, it's over with. You okay. the fucking hoe. Yeah, you are. Annoying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm he's so confused. With, yeah. <laughs> 200? That's crazy. And she can't hoe. have 10? It's over with. In her lifespan. I'm the only one that could do that. You in think her you're lifespan. Right? You can't do that. In your lifespan. You can't do that. In her whole life, she can't have 10 <laughs> bodies. Do that. In her whole life. You think you're why? Right? Wait, wait, wait. But why? What you mean? You why? think I want a bitch that been passed around to the whole neighborhood? What if so, there's... No, the I'm not talking world, about the neighborhood. To the whole ten, city? 10 people in a lifespan. I'm talking about 10 people in a lifespan. I'm talking about through you high school, be really through college, through adult for me to life. Damn it. 10 people in the whole adult life. 10 people. He can do five, but not 10. I ain't even say five. So, I said three. three. Oh, come on. No, so, but why did you make it so he said bad? Four. Yo, you have, listen, you, you, yo, you have a dick that has been with 200 pussies. You got, a, you got a Honda Accord with all them 200,000 miles on it. You got 200,000 miles on your 1996 Honda Accord. This still and a lamb bitch. truck. <laughs> I don't fuck about none of that. And this, I'm not saying, uh, this personally, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about mileage wise because you're not putting 200 miles on a lamb truck. You know what I'm saying? You putting two hundred dollars on the on the Mazda. You putting two hundred miles on the Honda. You are not putting two hundred dollars, two hundred miles on that, what I'm that, saying, that type of money. That's what I meant by that. No, I just want you to you understand. Still, I wasn't trying to disrespect you. Listen, in that, you in still saying that. ain't fucking more than uh, than the many Three. niggas I said. It's over. So with. I have a question. More more like a scenario, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say Laura, in her lifetime, has had three boyfriends, and 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 with boyfriend number one, they wait. That's just publicly though. In her lifetime, she's what had three boyfriends. What about behind the scenes? 
In her lifetime, she's had period. three boyfriends. Not period. period. Yeah, just period. Three. Yeah, she's yeah. I heard Lori, whatever her name, too I'm, many no, times. No, 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 no. Yeah. She's talking about I'm talking about Lori. I'm, give, I'm trying to give you a scenario. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to give you a scenario, yeah. and you I want your answer. No, 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 no. This is Lori. So let's just. I'm gonna do a little. I want to see. I'm play devil's advocate. I'm gonna see where you go with this one, right? So Lori in her lifetime had three boyfriends. Yep. Boyfriend number one, they had a baby. Uh-huh. Boyfriend number two, they had sex five times a week, right? Okay. Every single day, Monday through Friday, they had sex, right? Boyfriend number three, whatever. She had a baby by him too, right? Now, let's just say me, right? I dated around, but I wasn't having a lot of sex. But it was more people. So is it because it's more people and more bodies, more different dicks? No. So what if she was getting fucked... 10 times as much as I was getting fucked, but it was more people for me and less people for her. That's what I'm trying to get at. What difference does it make in the pussy? It was still getting fucked. She worth it. You not. I because that, it that's was, not answering let him, it let, was him, more, let him, let him, let listen, him let that's answer. because it, you had more dick stuck in you and she had the same dick stuck in her. Am I right? But more times. That don't matter. So, Once you get so those in, certain in names essence, on you, it's over with. So, in, so it's about the name and not about the physical act. Exactly. Because in, in essence, her pussy way more ran through if she was having way more sex with just three people. Sorry, Laura. I'm not. This is what I have to say. That's what I have to say. So, so the pussy could get ran through by 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 three men and 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 dogged out by three men. Not Laura's, but dogged out by three men, right? And that's okay. But the preserved pussy, even though it was 10 people, but yeah. not as many times. When you've been around, it's, it's just like. It's, uh-uh. it's, it's because it's more people. Yeah, when you've been around, make it's it over make sense. With. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you've been around, it's over with. Well, let me ask you this. Do you regret any of the women that you had sex with? Like, are there women no, that you like? No, because I knew my motive already. I, mm-hmm. I'm you not trying fucking. to wife you. I'm just fucking you. Or but are there you some just you're like, man, I shouldn't even have did so that. So you'll fuck a girl with 200 bodies, but you won't wife a girl with 200 exactly. bodies. Exactly. Okay. But either way, you put your dick in her. It don't matter. Condoms make sense, right? <laughs> you can still catch herpes with a condom. I ain't catching no herpes though. But three out so of, let me ask you this: Have it. you ever denied? Like, has it? Have you ever had sex with somebody and been like, "Damn, why did I do that"? I mean, I had when I was fifteen years old. I had this forty-one year old fat white girl. First That's but, against the law. You was, was a sugar I'm baby. Grown. Who gonna tell? Right, so she, she was I kicking had, my. Mom. How did you even meet her? I met her through my cousin. That was my cousin, Sugar Mama, first. When she met me, it was over with. Oh, oh my God. God. She chose? You she, stole, she chose up? You got to think. I'm from the trenches. Like, she chose up? My vibe different. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So she chose me. Cuz got mad. Mm-hmm. Talking crazy. But he he stepped to the side. He knew what was up. You feel me? She All right. Up. So that woman already had two bodies that we know of. Okay. So <laughs> she fucked cuz for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But that but was you cool because we was all was looking at it as a finesse. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So like, she what was she doing? She for was you? taking care of me like every how? day. Cars, every day. money, mm-hmm. whatever I wanted. Was it sex she gave good? it to me. Sex. I wasn't even trying to fuck her. She begged me to fuck. And when I left out, I'm like, what the that fuck? That is traumatizing. But I'm guess sorry. What? I'm traumatized. Listen, I, I got everything I needed out of it. Okay. Is she on you Facebook? Do you still keep in contact? I still keep in contact with her Aww. a little bit. You do? You know a little bit. That's, that's so just, nice. No, look, that's just because <laughs> what she did for me in the past when I was fucked up. You feel me? She kind of got so, you fucked up, too. That's really so terrible. So she's 51 now. Years. I pay, yeah. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I pay the respect. I reach out. What's up? You good? You straight? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Y'all Ooh. don't have a link up still? Nah, like, no, no sneaky link. link. It's over with. No link. That is so over with. She was 41. That's awful. She was 41. That's now awesome. she's fifty one. She damn near, yeah, somewhere around. Because you yeah. think about it, what if what if it was a fifteen year old girl mm-hmm. and that's a forty one year old man? We'd be like, no, oh see, my you see God. how that's different. You see how that's different. It, sh- it shouldn't it's, be though. It shouldn't but be at that, all. That, that, it's listen, really not. That's just it's, really, it's really not. You know, that's it's not different. Reality. It's not different in the eyes of the law. That's where it's not different. That's just reality. And also, I feel like you probably traumatized and you don't know it from he, that. He don't know. Yeah, it. you got you PTSD. Yeah, you don't realize yeah, it. Yeah, he don't but know. That one day you gonna need therapy for that. Yo, one day. Say I got you said PTSD she was big. One you day do. you gonna need therapy. One day. Wait, you said she was big. Yeah, you been through some shit, my nigga. Oh, why? Wait, you, why you, I need you been through some shit. Because you... I fucked the forty-one year old fat girl. That ain't the only reason. Did you eat her pussy? 
No. No, hell no. Why no, would you even ask no. that? You want another drink? Come here. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at you. <laughs> Give me right. Look at that sauce. Give me right. Also, when she said Lori, you thought she said Lori, Herbie, Lori and you was going to say something. Would you, do you feel like Lori Har- Harvey? I just heard her name in the mix too much. I, know, I don't want question, nothing to do with it. Since you're talking about pass around. I don't want nothing to do with it. There's no way you can make me believe that if Lori Harvey was like, yo, what's. i probably fuck her and shit. But you want wife her? No, for what? For what? Mm. Let okay. me ask you this. I just want to hit it like everybody else. Yeah, you know what? It though. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Them and How leaving you, them. Um, has your girl ever told you you need therapy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what did you think about that when she told you that? I was in denial. You know, I, I, I ain't fucking with that shit. Fuck, I need therapy. Therapy is from. amazing. It is. Therapy changed up. my life. But you feel me? After a while, it was like, damn, I do be tweaking sometimes. <laughs> like, did you try it? Did you try it? I fucked up a little bit in the mind. Let me. You know, so you. I ain't it. gonna lie, like um, you should. Yeah, she reached out to some people. And my manager reached out to some people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They trying to get me to do therapy. You should. Shit. You should. Thirty minute phone calls and all That's this it? extra you shit. I'm not tripping. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't tripping. I'm fucking with it. You feel yeah, me? Good. But at first, I was just like, hell no. Fuck. I think you should hey. just even because listening to your music and how it's therapeutic mm-hmm. for you. But yeah. it is a lot of things that you've been through, and it feel like. You want to get it off your chest, but I feel like it'll also give you like tools to be able to know how to deal with certain stuff that you might not know. That a professional could be like, all right, so you feel like this because of this. Here's some things that you can do. For sure. And, and your music and might also, change too. Yeah. Well, and also I think it might get deeper too. Like yeah. there'll be another your, layer. Of your music. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because there's yep. probably so many Y'all people going through. They're going to unlock some shit and you, you don't even know you got. Now. I promise you. For real? Yes. Mm-hmm. There's some things that you probably going through that Why you were changing. I'm in therapy. Listen, I'm a teen mom. I grew up without my father, my kids. I had mad trauma. And since I've been in therapy, I have not thought about any of that stuff because they helped me understand that my past and my the things that happened to me growing up does not affect who I am today. And they helped me like analyze a lot of different so things. So any of y'all in therapy? Mm-hmm. You, you, and you? Yeah, I'm not. She needs to uh, be in therapy, though. Yeah, I'm sure. not currently, <laughs> but I've done. I'm not currently, but I've done therapy, and I actually do want to go back. I'm gonna try it though. I just actually yeah. got a code. Thank you, better help. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> pass the code because I need it. Yeah, yeah I'm therapy try it. is. I never tried amazing. it, but I do feel like you know it could. Look, it can't hurt at all. Nah, for sure it can't hurt. That's mm-hmm. why I said I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Let me see what it's like. Yeah. Shout out Marie. Me personally, I, I went through I went through couples therapy, and then um, recently I've unfortunately had a lot of deaths in my life. And at this point, I think I need a little bit of grief therapy. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I'm, thank you, because I'm triggered by like the smallest mm-hmm. things right now. Like literally, I so I you saw, got anxiety. It's it'll be like a it'll be like I'll see something or I'll hear something or I'll smell something and it'll get and you it'll riled just, up. I'll literally bust that, out in tears. Like I'll that's have a how I be too though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I feel like I need to talk my way through that with somebody that can really help me untie that knot that I feel like I have in my chest. Yeah, I definitely For stop. Sure. I cry less now. Mm-hmm. I used to cry like... Although there's nothing wrong with crying. It's nothing wrong. Yeah, crying to me was my therapy, but since I started therapy, I've learned to deal with those emotions besides crying. Like, mm-hmm. I'll cry if you tell me, oh my God, you're doing so great. I'm like, ah. mm-hmm. Because I'm not used to hearing those things. Exactly. I'm used to hearing, you're not good enough, or you're never going to be this, or you're never going to do that. that. Because that fam- no, 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 oh. niggas, brother, family, growing up. Just, oh, I had a kid sure. at 16. So once no, you had a kid sure. at 16, and I'm Spanish, and I'm a black Dominican. You say you're Spanish? Yes, I'm a Dominican. black Dominican. So, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's you a heritage back thing. into a, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, mm-hmm. and plus, you got a lot of people relying on you now, too. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. you said, major label deal, album about to come out maybe this month, mm-hmm. you know, potentially. Three but, kids. And a possible. Yeah, and a possible and a that possible. you got to find out about. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I thought you had four. He said he, he was trying I to know. get Three, and a test. Possible. And he a talked about that. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to, I'm try, I tried to get it, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But like a how you motherfucker feel? must know in their head How that. you feel in the pit? In the pit of your stomach, how you feel about it? When I when I first was like getting them and shit, I used to like just stare at them like. To try to see it. <laughs> hey, gang, look at him real quick. He got the same eyes with the same nose. <laughs> Or oh, shame, some you feel what I'm saying. I used to be doing that. Then I tell his mama like, "Hey, send me some baby pictures on." She sent me some baby pictures. I put them bitches next to my face. <laughs> yeah, next to your baby pictures. Let, let, let bro I'll put them see. I'm like, next to my face. Next to your baby pictures. Look, like what's going on, bro? Some of bro, and I'm like, nah, bro. You better his, swab his cheek. Nah, but his, do hey, you... bro, his hair too good. 
But the feeling when you're with him, when you spend time with when him, I is it like with your kids? With him, like, like, is there a different vibe? Yeah, it's like, vibe? this my son, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's like, this my son, but like... So would you be heartbroken if you found out it was, he wasn't yours? I wouldn't be heartbroken because I'm ready for that. I don't already you prepare kind of myself for that. Right. Right. How old is he? You feel me? He's five right now. So you've already been in his life. So if yeah. you find out he's not yours, would you still actively be in his life that's what my people told me they said you should still be in his life because you out of out of out of but i'm I don't like think if that if, do him any good. if if mm. if that ain't mine yeah i don't want no dealings with it i also feel like that you might not be me? the best thing for the kid but, but they, what if he's trying to say that because i already attached. got started no but right. he's so young that he's, he'll eventually yeah, forget about saying. you he's five exactly so. yeah because you know his real father. Yeah. She should know who that is. But yeah, then it was, yeah, pitch, yeah. It was pictures going probably. around on the internet with him, his he face, might be, and she another nigga face. <gasps> and you saw his message, so yeah, yeah. Poor baby. Kind of. Mm. But it was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying, what's going on? You know, you. But listen though, his mama told me Duh. when we got into big arguments. His mama told me, you could have swapped him yourself and da 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 da. -da, -da. But listen. I always said, look, me and you, let's go down to this place and let's figure this shit out. She never wanted to come. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because she had a boyfriend or I don't know. You feel okay. me? But after a while, when he wasn't around me no more, she said, you could have swapped him yourself, but he ain't around me no more. I, I commend you for doing what you did and mm -hmm. for wanting to know. And it's fucked up that she didn't want to give you that. But maybe that's a sign that you should just move on because... Yeah, and that's what I did. Because guess what? At this point, not for nothing, I don't know what she do for a living or how her life is. But at this point, if he is your life baby... Life a Milky Way. <laughs> wow. Well, at this point, if he is your baby, she should be trying to make sure that her son is... is Gonna be taken care of because exactly. you got the means like, to do so. So if she not running down for you to try to get you to do she it, she know what it is. Then, yeah, she know what it is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You you ain't wrong. How I'm has life changed for thing. you since signing the deal and getting the money? <laughs> taking care of my mamas, my brothers, my sisters, my kids. Mm. Waking up, being able to do what I want to, how I want to, when mm -hmm. I want to is just a lovely. It's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. What's the most? Thank the man upstairs. Uh, What's the most expensive thing you bought? A AP watch, sixty thousand. Okay. Watches are an investment. Mm -hmm. yes. Definitely an investment. Piece. If you do it right and don't bust it down and don't lose it. Yeah. <laughs> and don't lose it. It's insured, right? Unfortunately, it's gone. Oh well. well okay. I, I, I done ran through band there five, six watches already. Okay. What is happening? Oh my gosh. How are you losing these watches? I can't even say it on this I, 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 I feel like I know. Me too. Next ask, question. Ask. One of them 200 women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. They didn't want to say it, but they said what I was thinking. Mm. Uh, you should do a song called 200 Women. No, nah, I'm going to do one no, called 300 because oh. I just said that little number. Okay. I'm sorry, yeah. more than that. How can you keep, how can you count? That's, that's the thing. Mm. Okay. What's the thing? I don't know. Okay. Mm. I it. just know it's around now. But Got it's it. a wrap now because yeah. you're in a happy, healthy relationship. Yeah, I'm yeah. in a happy, healthy Period. relationship. No more stumbles. Yeah. It's yeah. over with. <laughs> it's over with. You see yourself getting married? I don't know yet. It all depends. Mm -hmm. My my girl asked me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to see what's, what's the vibes is, man. What's the vibes? Look how uncomfortable that you Y'all have uh, <laughs> any of your children hers? Yeah. Oh, okay. One of them. One. Mm -hmm. yeah. The last so, one. The last one. Okay. I it feel like, <laughs> I mean, I feel like y'all going to be in each other's lives regardless. But For I also surely. feel like at this point, I don't know how old she is. I'm guessing around your age. I feel like at this point. She's 26. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like at this point, y'all too young for marriage anyway. I feel like y'all No, just, see, but that's why I'm telling you, like, marriage is cool, but like. Not yet. I got to see the vibe. I got to yeah, let it yet. go on a little Keep longer. Keep living life a little bit. Yeah. And, and, and gaining vibe. wisdom. But I also feel like it depends. And, Some people and know, jump into a lot other. of stuff and get married. Like, it just depends. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And they've known each other. Like you knew that her. That was your crush. He does not want day. to be married right now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you. that's fine. He's yeah. seeing the vibes. <laughs> but you believe me and in her, marriage. We gonna run these hoes together. Huh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you gonna get another three hundred bodies? We we'll probably do it <laughs> together. It all. Yeah. So y'all already do threesomes? <laughs> no, we ain't did one yet. We've been we've been trying to see. If so we let me ask you a question. We or you? I have a question. Uh -huh. We or you? Me and her. Uh, -huh. I have a question. We're trying to see if we're gonna do it. She still. On the fence. On the fence. <laughs> she no so look. She my performance is crazy. Uh huh. And she don't wanna. She don't wanna let share. Me she don't wanna share. And I, so maybe you could watch her with somebody else. Yeah. I would never. What? Wait. So okay. I have a question. Oh. I would if y'all decide to do this threesome, does yeah. the girl count as a body? On who? Me? On uh -huh. her. 
No, that don't count as no fucking body. <laughs> that's so some, wait, so what's your dick? That's something I wanted to do. So what's the dick? That's it don't my count because it's not dick. That ain't no dick. Gosh. Is she having? Hey, listen, se- is if she's... women fucked a million bitches out here, guess what? They it wouldn't matter to me. They're virgin. That's zero. <laughs> you. Hear me? He's just hey, making guess up what? Rules. That woman know. can't do. That girl can't do nothing I could do. You hear me? That's fact. She could eat pussy better than you. Way more bitches than you probably could imagine. And she guess what? Could. Why are you gonna say that? Now you trying to get started. I can tell, tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you otherwise. You, you ain't got to worry about that. What I'm saying is, I can tell you otherwise. Okay. I got a whole lot of experience, baby, baby. baby. I've been fucking since before using your daddy nutsack. Okay. That's and probably, and female. That's and females, hey, look, that. Let me tell you something though. That's probably true. But I know a lot of niggas that probably been fucking since I was in my daddy nutsack and I performed better than that. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about women. We talking about women. Okay. And I'm trying to understand why a woman don't count as a body. I don't feel like they, they do it enough. But, but they're, they're, like they're, they're, they're exchanging bodily fluids. Yeah, I understand. They sucking each other pussy. They bumping each other pussy. They making each other orgasm. They touching and licking. And yeah. All that's right. sex. Yeah. That's sex. Ain't no sex. They playing with toys. Double ended strap that on. That ain't no sex. That's sex. Mm-hmm. Them toys ain't no so sex. So if she, so if she go, so if you found out that she had bottomless mimosas with that's her homegirl at brunch toy. and then they sucked each other, that's just like me and jail masturbating to Hello? the TV. Listen, <laughs> sex. if you find out that your woman is sucking her homegirl pussy right now while you here sitting on the couch with us, you ain't gonna be mad. Come fuck that bitch with me. But you gonna be mad that she did For it what? without you. For what? This next time though, come on. Okay. It's time. So, so it feels like it, it feels like people. it's gonna happen though. Huh? It feels like it's gonna them. happen. Like she's on the fence about it. Yeah, she she iffy about it. There's but I'm gonna rules make to a threesome. Happen. She got to pick the girl. No, I can pick the girl. No, nah. but that's the rule. For, I got good taste. Oh but for the person, person. Like, she got to feel comfortable with yeah, the girl. Yeah, she got to pick you the girl. You can't just bring but any But I can pick a girl and say, want. "Hey, baby, is is she good?" No, and if she double back to her, you could double. I'm picking the girl. You got because you could double back to that girl you pick. She need to pick the girl. You need not have nothing to do with think, the girl. I don't think my girl like on that type of time enough to pick the girl or even approach a girl she on really that type ain't. of time. Yeah. She on the fence. You she what ain't. I'm saying? But yeah. you're okay if she just says she doesn't want to do it. You'll be okay with that too. Of course. Yeah. That's okay. wifey. I got to respect her. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Fair Wishes enough. and shit. And what if she's like, okay, here's the rules. Because I actually read a whole book about the rules of threesomes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what if she's like, well, I don't want you to... Um, you know, put your penis in her, and I don't want y'all to kiss. But you could, we could all three be together. But it's gonna be me and her doing. I'll stuff be and- like, babe, but you right here. <laughs> <laughs> like you right here, babe. You know, like what are you talking that's about? Had a whole lot of threesomes. I think a lot of those rules are stupid. Because mm-hmm. if you agreeing to do it, you agreeing to do it. Like why you got to put exactly, stipulations on it? Exactly. I told y'all plenty of times the story about the girl who made the nigga stop she fucking got, me yeah, mid stroke because got jealous. she was jealous. Like I can't believe you're doing to her like that. It's you're. It's too. Girl, guess what he did? Double Kurt back going. for years. What's her name? <laughs> Who the girl name? No, what's your name? Oh, I'm Gigi McGuire. Miss Gigi show me the money. Gigi McGuire. Mm-hmm. Oh shit, Miss Show okay. Me the Money. Miss Show Me the Money. Miss Show Me that. the Money. Mm-hmm. What you do? This. <laughs> oh. Go ahead, Gigi. Talk your shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Mm-hmm. No, that's cool. He could he could do whatever little research he wants to. He'll find what he's looking for. Gigi Maguire. He I'm about to do sure some do research. research. Be like, babe, can we bring Gigi Maguire? In the- <laughs> but listen, we have to go because the studio's up. But yeah, they we- kicking us out. I know, and you flew in and just came straight here from the I airport, tripping. which we appreciate. No, for sure. That you know, everybody I appreciate was- y'all the most. No, I was like, Lil Zay Osama's coming. I was like, is he going to be able to talk about these? But you did great. Yes. Yes. Even though we didn't agree with most of what you said, you still did. At all. (laughs) Y'all women, of course. It's it's four women in here and one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's a good position for you to be in. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all helped me a little bit too. We got to expand your mind a little bit. But no, honestly, thank you so much for coming through and congratulations on everything. Yes. Yes. No, for sure. Congratulations. Appreciate that. After therapy, come back (sighs) and talk to us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about therapy and the threesome. (laughs) <laughs> tell your tell your therapist about the threesome and then come holler at us. All right, it's Let's lip see service. What you say. 